Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a questionnaire to Wix website. The first thing you want to do, once on your Wix admin dashboard, you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on edit site. After tapping on edit site, it is going to automatically open your Wix editor page. While that is opening up, I'm going to show you the platform or platforms that you can use to create a questionnaire. The first option that you could use would be Google Forms. And with Google Forms, all you'll need once you're on google.com and you're signed in, you'll simply type in Google Forms. Then you're going to tap on Google Forms Sign In. After selecting Google Forms Sign In, you could tap on Blank. Or you could select from one of the templates and you could see if any one of these templates is to your liking. But unfortunately, they do not have a questionnaire template. So you will need to tap on blank and then you're going to create the questionnaire from scratch as you can see right here. The second option and a much easier option is JotForm. All you'll need to do is go onto JotForm.com and this is completely free again. All you'll need is to sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And you are going to go to the top menu option. You are going to hover over templates. Then you are going to select form templates. After selecting form templates, you will see over 10,000 free templates that you can use. And what I want you to do next is scroll down and pay attention to the left hand menu option. And right where you see questionnaire templates, you are going to tap right there. After selecting questionnaire templates, you can see that there is over 300 questionnaire templates that you can choose from. So all you have to do is scroll down and select anyone that you would like to use. And you could simply tap on use template below it. So let's say I want to use this one. I'll tap on use template. Then after you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. Just give it a few seconds to load up. After you have done that, you'll see right here, you can add your company logo. Then you can add your organization name. So let's say my organization name is simple answers. I'll type that in right there. Then tap on save. After you have done that, you can scroll down and you can edit the questions. So you can add the questions that you would like to add. And you can also remove any question that you don't want on your questionnaire. After you have done that, you are going to scroll back up. Then you will tap on settings from the top menu option. After you have tapped on settings, you can add the title right there. And then you are going to tap right where you see preview form in the top right hand corner. So let's tap on that to see how our form looks or how our questionnaire looks right here. Once it is to your liking, all you'll need to do now. Now once it is to your liking, all you'll need to do is simply toggle off preview form. Then you are going to tap on publish, creating the form. All I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on platforms. After tapping on platforms, you are going to scroll down until you see Wix. So let's scroll down. Once you have found Wix, you are going to tap on it. Then you can see right here, all you will need to do is simply copy the code. Then you are going to go back into Wix editor and you are going to select HTML. First, let's go back into Wix. Once on the editor page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on the third icon that says pages and menu. After tapping on pages and menu, you are going to add a new page. So let me add a new page real quick. So all you need to do is tap on site menu. Then you are going to tap on add page. Then you will select Add a blank page in the top left hand corner. And after you have tapped on add blank page, it is going to automatically add a blank page to your website. And then you can also change the name of the page as you can see right here. New page. You could change this name right here. 
so if you like to change it to q a you can do that so let me do that real quick so then i'll simply tap on done after you're finished you can now close that then you are going to go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to tap on add elements once you have tapped on add elements i want you to select embed code then you are going to select embed html and after selecting embed html you are going to paste the code you had copied from JotForm. so let's paste the code then you are going to tap on update once you have tapped on update you will see right here you can tell google what's in this embed so you can simply type in q a or you could type in questionnaires i'll simply type in questions then after you're finished you can tap on the x right there so let me do that real quick then you can scroll down and you will see your new embed as you can see right here has been added now to stretch it out all you'll need to do is tap on stretch right here then tap on full stretch to full width after you have done that it should automatically stretch out and now we'll edit it so all we'll need to do is simply pull it up so let's pull it up right here then after doing that you can pull down this section and you can see right here website survey questionnaire and you can see thank you for taking the time out and now if they scroll down they will see the questions let me fix this real quick after doing that let's tap on preview to see how it looks so preview in the top right hand corner let me see how this page looks if the questions pop up you can see right here by scrolling down the questions do pop up and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe